All right, Kema, uh, what does this event mean for you and FIDE? Well, it's a very important event for the whole FIDE and for the chess community, for the people with disabilities, as we started preparing for this event four years ago, uh, when we planned to have Olympiad for chess for people with disabilities in uh, Hantimansisk. Uh, back then, uh, FIDE um, chose the teams according to the rating average. And since uh, the Olympiad was postponed, uh, teams were waiting with great impatience for this Olympiad to happen. And finally, they're all here and they're all happy. You were deeply involved in starting the organizing process back then. And uh, now you were deeply in involved to have see, see this event here. So finally, as this event happened, uh, how do, what is your overall feeling? The feeling great. You saw the players, they're happy. Of course, there were some difficulties and uh, um, something that we had to do with them, uh, starting from the visa issue. Uh, but thanks to the government of Serbia, visas were quickly issued and granted to all the teams that require it. Uh, some c teams that in their countries, they don't have embassy of the Republic of Serbia. Uh, the government uh, agreed to issue visa upon arrival, which is very great achievement, and we uh, cannot stop thanking them for this. Uh, the transfers for the people with disabilities, as you can imagine, uh, for wheelchair people were perfectly organized. Uh, special vehicles were provided. Uh, the hotel is brilliant, as you can see as well. There are special rooms designed for wheelchair people. Uh, the hotel provides uh, great food, including uh, food for vegetarians. Um, the hall is also brilliant, as you can see, spacious for um, making them comfortable with wheelchairs and for blind people as well. So to my mind, everything just goes very smoothly and uh, everyone is happy, including FIDE and players. Um, just one thing, obviously you're deeply involved in organizing this and, and other events of FIDE, and there's so many things to look after. How do you remember everything? How, do you, how, long, does, how long does it take to prepare an Olympiad? Uh, it depends. <laughs> if you remember Chennai Olympiad, it was only four, four months of preparations. And for this Olympiad, we had about two months, uh, which is okay. But of course, it would be better if we have more time. Um, but we managed, as you can see. So what have you learned from this Olympiad? What will you do different next time when this comes to organize this event? Well, I, I don't see that there was something that uh, would, we would like to correct, let's say, or to amend. Um, Everything was perfect. Visas done, hotel is perfect, hall is fine, transfers okay food is brilliant, um, probably we would have more teams. Uh, you know that uh, before this Olympiad, teams for, uh, for the people with disabilities were participating in a normal Olympiad, but we had only three teams in a normal Olympiad. Now we have 26, and for the next Paralympiad, we have a goal to have uh, as many teams as possible. Thank you very much and good luck with that. Thank you.